Hey everybody, Jess Birkin with Birkin Law Office here with my great friend Tom Wordish of Novellus Insurance. Thanks for having me. I'm going through the nonprofit life cycle from startup to merger, dissolution, anything like that. And, and everything in and between. And everything in between. Right? One of the things that's in between is uh, volunteers. And I know that that's always sort of a squishy issue for my clients. Like they're not sure if their volunteers are really covered or do they need to get specific insurance that covers volunteers so maybe you can yeah. help resolve that mystery great question common question right so because you know in our business it's you know employees or you know labor that's working on behalf of us and in a nonprofit, it's like as much free labor as we can get great right amen to that we'll yes. get as much free help but you definitely have a you know relationship as a nonprofit with your volunteers and things can happen right when they're volunteering yep so some things that could happen is they could get injured as a volunteer when they're helping or, um, you know, they could have some medical things that happen that they need some medical payments on. So what you really need to spend some time with on a volunteer nonprofit basis is really looking at that general liability policy really closely. And you're going to want to make sure that the volunteers are included and the medical payments are included for them because you'll see deep in the forms that they might be excluded. And it's really when you need to spend a lot of time reading it yourself. Really? But it's good stuff that will put you to sleep. So maybe you have an agent that will help you with that. Because yeah. by yeah. the time you get to about a page, you know, 30 or 40, you know, that'll cure insomnia. Uh, honestly, any, anytime a, way you can a get client this. wants me to read their insurance policy, I'm like, uh, Tom? Yeah, you know? <laughs> look at this section, this form. This is exciting. Yeah. But yeah, just make sure that it includes volunteer coverage and medical payments coverage for your volunteers, a good general liability policy will. But the insurance world, kind of the nonprofit and the for-profit insurance world is a little bit different. So we need to make sure we find a nonprofit policy because they'll understand, you know, Jess's law office, my insurance office. We don't get a lot of volunteers that are like, I want to help you. Nope. You know, we pay for labor. Yeah. But, you we know, have to. <laughs> Jess's puppy rescue or, you know, Tom's soup kitchen. We can get people to sign up with that and help for free, but different. Okay. So make sure you find an insurer that really specializes on nonprofits and have a good conversation with your agent about it. Right. So this coverage. falls under the adage, don't just get three quotes and pick the cheapest one because you may be buying insurance that doesn't cover what you really need. Right. And I'm going to be biased, of course, but don't do it yourself. Like you just, I'm licensed. I spend a lot of time continuing ed, reading forms like, there's far too much to know and far too many gaps to have by trying to do it yourself. And you're not going to get to all the markets because you might not even know that, you know, the United States liability insurance company is a player in nonprofits. Like how right. would you get to them if you didn't know, you know, right. so find an agent that you trust, make sure you spend time together. I mean, it's kind of feel like it's maybe a broken record, but it's so important because, you know, wait until a volunteer hurts himself or herself and then yep. don't wonder right do yeah. it right yeah all right right on well thanks for that advice yeah thanks and... for watching and keep checking out the other videos below